Hi folks, Lucas here. Today we're talking about cameras. But not just your boring DSLRs, or your shitty point and shoots, or even your posh Leicas. I'm here talking about handmade cameras. Now, over the next few weeks, I'm actually going to show you how to make one of these. But before I do, I'm going to have to be a bit boring and go over some of the basics. So let's start with this cardboard box. Pretend this is film. Poke a hole in the top. So what we have just done is created a camera. Not a very good camera, but a camera nonetheless. Now there's a few things we can do right off the bat to make this better. Up front we can add a lens. In the middle some sort of focusing mechanism. And around back, a way to easily load film. So let's see what happens when we make those changes. This is the first camera I ever made. A lot of you will recognize it as a 4x5 monorail. Now this camera is a huge step up from a cardboard box, and in many ways it's actually better than modern cameras. Uh, up front you got a really nice lens, the bellows expand to focus, and around back you have a way to easily load film, as well as a ground glass to view the image on. But there are two things no one will ever call this camera. Easy to use and portable. So what can we do to address those problems? Well, let's take a look. Well, we can put a handle on it. This is the second camera ever made. It's an instant press camera. As you can tell by the handle, it's technically portable. Around back, it takes pack film that takes 10 shots instead of just one. In the middle, we have a focusing mechanism that's a little bit easier to use and more compact than what you find in the monorail, but it's still quite large. By today's standards, it's hard to consider a literal cubic foot of wood portable. So there are a few things we can do to change that. We can replace the pack film with roll film, and we can replace the wood with metal. What that gives us is the Landers AL6. This is the most recent camera I've made. And by many standards, it's very similar to a modern camera. Around front, you have a easy to use lens. Rangefinder, it takes standard film, medium format, 6.6. And if I were to give it to a normal photographer, within a few hours, they would be able to use it to its full ability. And over the next few weeks, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I build this camera. Next week we're going to be in the workshop making the main body. For this we're going to be on the mill, and we're also going to be doing some brazing work. And if you find anything that I've talked about today remotely interesting, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be putting out regular videos on camera making, going through the entire process on this camera. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll try and get back to you. And with that, I hope to see you next week.